What's up, Blue Roof Nation, and welcome back to Jones Corner. I know it's been a while. Um, I, I had some hiccup with some technical stuff. A hard drive of mine died, and uh, I had to kind of re recoup from different sources the stuff I lost on it. It took me a while, and it kind of had me down. When you're, when you're doing everything yourself, data and storage, it's, it's probably one of the most important things. So when something like that goes wrong, you kind of go into panic mode and everything gets thrown to the side because, yeah, it's your life, man. It's everything you're working on. Uh, but everything's cool. No worries. Got everything sorted out. Everything's found. Um, I'm also thinking of cutting John's Corner back from a daily show because I, I have other stuff I want to do. And doing this every day, it was taking a toll and taking away from everything else I want to do. So I'm thinking uh, I'm probably going to make this just a Friday show like it was going to be originally. Uh, obviously, this one's going to come out on a Monday, but it's, it's just kind of to lay the groundwork for what to expect and just to say hi to you guys and all that. So, um, Nostalgia 100 is coming back, and it's going to have four hosts now. Uh, until Lawrence gets back, I'll probably have three, but once he gets back, if he still wants to do it, we'll do four. Um, a 90s kid's guy to television is now the 90 kid's guy to television, and me and, uh, on this first episode, me and Saul have jumped on it with Ashley, and... Uh, it's definitely going to be me and Ashley. If Saul wants to stay on it, he's more than welcome. It was, it was a fun conversation. Uh, we talked about... Well, well, you'll see the title. We talked about skins. Uh, so it was, it was fun. Uh, I'm in talks with Zelda to get her back here for... Um, chilling with Z. And I'm trying to get Zelda and D to do Devon's show. So hopefully we can, uh, we can start that back up too. His is just the hardest because of um, transportation and stuff like that. But we'll, we'll figure it out. But anyway, so this is this is John's corner, and uh, it was just the re it is just kind of a recap. But I want to talk about some stuff. So first of all, uh, I talked before about the Netflix, oh, the Disney streaming program, and them getting some shows. The Loki show has been confirmed, so that's a yay. Um, I'm excited about that. I, I like Tom Hiddleston's Loki. I think it's awesome. And the more content we can get from the MCU, the happier I'll be. There's also rumors that uh, Falcon and Bucky are getting their own shows. I don't know if it's going to be a buddy show together or separate or what, but I don't care. I'm excited. Um, they're saying that Daredevil ratings for season three were down. It's like, what? It's like the it's, season was so amazing. They better not cancel Daredevil. And all this bullshit they're saying about the ratings being so low for Luke Cage and Iron Fist, and that's why they cancel, I call bullshit. They canceled it because of the Disney streaming service. Netflix and Disney are battling it out, and this is we the fans are the victims of their their. It's ludicrous. Um, some Star Trek news. I, I'm, I'm speeding through it. I'm sorry. It's, there's a lot. A lot has happened these past couple weeks. I've been wanting, dying to talk about. I haven't gotten to. Uh, I, I've never been a fan of Rick and Morty. Someone compared it to me once of Back to the Future. It's one of my favorite movies, favorite trilogies. And they had a pretty badass cartoon. And like, oh, Rick and Morty is like the adult version of Back to the Future. So I've never watched it because fuck that. Even though it's by the, I think it's Dan Harmon, the guy who did Community, right? Community is an amazing show. But, um, so th those guys, I guess, are doing a Star Trek sitcom cartoon, adult cartoon, that takes place uh, on the lower levels called Lower Decks. I don't know how I feel about it. It's, to me, it's like the Quentin Tarantino Star Trek. Like, I love Quentin Tarantino. I think every movie he does is a masterpiece, but this type of movie he make, they're not, they're not Star Trek movies. So, Community and, um, I don't even know if it's the Community guy who's doing this. It might be the other guy who made Rick and Morty with him. But that's not Star Trek. And I just, I don't know. Star Trek is something. It's its, its own little thing. It's its own genre, essentially. And forcing other genres into it, I don't know. I feel like they really are just throwing their their cards anywhere they can, and they're not hitting what they're supposed to be hitting. Um, that being said, I am I'll watch it just like I watched Discovery, and I'm extremely excited for the Picard show. And if they and I really think they should give War for show. He's been he's been asking for one. He's there's no character that's been on more episodes than War. Give him his own show. He's asked for it. Give it to him. And I think while you're at it, give Riker a show. Make a, make a show about Titan. His shit. I'd watch that. I think that'd be awesome. I just... I just want them to do Trek the way Trek is supposed to be done. If we could do that, I think there's a lot of promise and a lot of life left in that universe. Um, I don't know. That's just my thoughts on the subject. If you guys disagree, please comment below or tweet us at Goodheinz. G-U-T-H-E-I-N-Z. 
or at um, Blue Roof Films or at the Uncanny Fans. But I just, I think you should stay true to what you are. Don't alienate your fans just for the sake of alienating your fans, you know? But yeah, so there will be a new John's Corner on Friday. And it's going to be a Friday show. And there's going to be other shows dropping on the week. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to drop them on this YouTube page or if I'm going to drop them on our website at Blue... At Blue... It's not fucking Twitter. Dude. At our website, blueproductions.com. Uh, my goal, I'm just going to be honest with y'all, is to get more people to that site. Um, build our brand up. We do a lot of different stuff. We do skits. We do short stories. Uh, I've started releasing scripts I've written just because I want people to read them. And I think it's fun. Um, so I, I'm just I'm trying to get more traffic to that website. And of course, like the back catalog for everything is on there. All the podcasts are on there. Everything. So if you haven't checked it out on our website yet, blueproductions.com. That's our home. You can check that out. And I'll see you guys Friday. Give us legends. 